Hello and welcome back to Your Grounded. Today we are looking at the most fearsome creature to roam the garden, the wolf spider. We'll once again be breaking down each of its attacks and teaching you how to parry this thing all day long. In the background you can see some gameplay of me soloing a wolf spider on the WoW difficulty with nothing more than a pebble axe and an eye patch. and there's absolutely no reason that you shouldn't be able to do the same once we're done here. Remember if this video does prove helpful please do take a minute to pause the video and give it a like and maybe even comment down below what you've had issues with while facing this hairy monstrosity but without further delay let's take a look. So its first attack is the jumping strike. The wolf spider will always open with this attack regardless of your distance to it. Sometimes if you're too high or you're too far away from it, it'll fire a web shot identical to that of the orb weavers, but this is still exceptionally rare. Just don't panic when it jumps and just be ready for when it comes down and get ready to parry it. It's very much like the mites attack where it goes up and you want to parry or start your parry as soon as it starts to make its way down. After a bit of practice it becomes probably the easiest attack out of all of them to parry. Next up is the one handed strike, I'm not going to say too much about this, it's identical to the orb weavers where it just raises one arm in the air as a distraction before moving in for a bite with its pincers, very simple move to parry and you should have it down in no time. So coming to the heavy attack now, again this one is inherited by its neighbour the Orb Weaver. The spider lets out a roll before striking forward with its full body weight. Staying calm here is the key and starting the parry once it's started its body movement forward is the key to nailing this one. As you can see the AI can be a bit weird and this attack will sometimes cause a lunge over a considerable distance and land. Sometimes uh, it'll lunge but it'll miss. Sometimes the attack will connect at point blank range and sometimes the AI is just looking somewhere completely different and it straight up misses and you get some free punish damage for it. You can always tell what's going to happen because if you check if it's rotating with you as you fight it then its attack is going to connect with you. If it stops following you with its eyes and its body locks into a kind of um, set position then it means that the AI thinks you're somewhere else and it's just going to miss the attack and you are free to start swinging. I feel this happens a lot more in multiplayer than it does in single player. So coming up to the final move now, it's so overkill that honestly even the first hit will kill you on the higher difficulties. It consists of five strikes in total as opposed to the Orb Weaver's three and it ends in a massive bite with massive damage and every single attack the Wolf Spider does of course inflicts poison damage to you. I'd recommend using a bandage to try and counter some of that poison damage and using smoothies to outheal any other damage that's incoming. Uh, thankfully the first hit comes out quite late and it's very telegraphed. The first move kind of looks like the spider is trying to squash you under its foot uh, as it raises half of its body and that's your indication that you want to start your parry. Uh, if you're new to fighting them I'd recommend a full set of acorn armour, bandages and regular smoothies. Well that was all for the wolf spider. I, I do hope that this has made it slightly less scary for you and I hope you find it helpful. If you did please do take the time to leave a rating as that's going to help me and the channel out tremendously. Thank you again ladies and gentlemen and take care now.